Dan. I'm here with David Noble, who's the CEO of SIPS. And, um, and David, how, how can procurement deliver value and innovation uh, in the short term? Well, I think the first step is to recognise that it's not just about cost savings. You know, it's, it's far more than that. The, the, the function has been steeped in that for many, many years, and it's got to get that mindset out. It's now that's, that's taken as a given, as is good quality. So what we need to do is focus on where we add value. And those are areas such as um, looking at the chain of stream procurement into um, strategic sourcing, into make versus buy, into value chain analysis, all the things that are a step above the traditional tactical purchasing activity. Okay, that's very interesting. I mean, um, about green sourcing and sustainability, how, how important do you see that at the minute uh, as a part of the corporate agenda? Uh, I think it's, it's huge and it will continue to be so and it will become more so in many other developing countries as we go forward. Therefore, the role of our profession is fundamental in that and we can't ignore the fact that it's going to be there to stay. Uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's, the only, it's the first regulatory, real regulatory activity to affect the private sector. Um, it's traditionally been the public sector where you get regulations after regulations that confine your ability to be successful commercially. But this is something that's for the private sector and has to be recognised that it's there to stay and therefore we need to get good at it. And I think the Institute has a huge role to play here in ensuring that uh, our profession develops good practice around carbon management, waste management, water management, and that's something we're working towards with our indices that we're going to put in place, much like our Purchase and Managers Index, which of course is very well known as an economic indicator. Um, we're here, and you're chairing our event, uh, ProcureCon CPO Roundtable today. And what, what do you think of the value of these, these events for CPO? I think the value of these events is, is, is simply down to uh, networking opportunities. Our profession has not been great in the past at communicating the best practice to each other. You listen to the people talking and they share good practice and realise that you know, they have the light bulb moment where they recognise their problem has been addressed somewhere else, maybe in a different way, but it's been addressed. And I think, well, again, that's a huge role the Institute has to play with, play with our members in ensuring they network together and, and learn from each other. Um, I think this particular event has been very well organised. Uh, and, it, you know, the more we do these, the more this profession will get itself away from its old state image and into this more dynamic area that it needs to be. That's, that's, very, uh, that's very interesting. Okay. Thank, thank you very much, David. Thank you. Thank you.